Welcome. You've got mail. Show Hello. Quite a place here, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you're all going to enjoy it. I am not. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Oh, it's Saturday instead of Friday. I had a good time last night. Went to the concert, outside concert, a couple miles away in the park. Sitting and listening to some pretty good music. They weren't too bad. They were a cover band, so they did all kinds of cover. When when I go to see a band, I go to see them do original stuff. It's it, it's like going to see Pat Benatar and having her do all Janis Joplin stuff. Love Pat, love Janis, but I came to see Pat do Pat stuff, not Pat do everybody else stuff. So that's kind of what it was. I wasn't too excited about it, but it was fun. Nice weather. It was nice and a little breezy and warm. And it was fun. Anyway, I digress. Let me go ahead and look at the chat. See who's here. Um, let's see. Hold it. Oh, crap. It's not going clear to the top. I'm not sure why. Um, okay. Let me see. Let me try this out here. Aha! Okay, there's Andrea. Hey, Andrea. And Todd's here, and Eric's here, and Brent, and Meek, and Daniel, and Miss Mandy, and let's see, Shao, and Joni, and Gamer Girl, and Trav, and the list just continues to grow. That's awesome. How long you guys been? How's your weekend been? Sounds like the headset might be loose. Why? What are you hearing? The audio is funky? Why? What's what's it sound like? Hold on. Let me see if I can go to... I'm not sure why. Let me see. Make sure I didn't accidentally turn it off. No, it's on. Let's see. Plunk and drops. Really? Okay. Um, okay, give me a second. Let me do a little. It's not coming in clear. Okay, hold on. Or maybe this is what I'll do. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe the gain's not too much. Maybe the game shouldn't be on at all. Okay, did that fix it? How's that? The mic is down. It's right here. See? Here it is. How's that sound right now? I turned the gain off. Nope, still nothing. Okay, try this. Let me see if I can get my headset. Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. Oh, hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay, that should do it. How's that? I had it on the... Okay, had it on the wrong USB. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, yeah. I usually test it. Right before I get started, but I was in an intense game of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and just couldn't pull myself away. Okay, so so is it better now? 
And there's Albert. How you doing, Albert? So everything okay now? Should be. Better now. Okay, good. Huh. Good thing. Well, thank you, because I count on you guys to give me sound and audio, sound and video checks. Better than cheddar. You know what cheddar sounds like coming out the other end, right? Yeah, that's what cheddar sounds like coming out of the other end. So I've got some crystals, some cherry crystal that I poured in here in my water. So it's sweet. And I got my coffee. If you don't have your coffee, you know where to get it. Take it away, There's Jane. There's coffee in that nebula. Thank you, Captain. Oh, vengeance. How you doing, man? Ready to come to the show, buddy? What's up? That might be a little too loud now. Okay, let me turn that down. I was wondering why it was so... Okay, is that better? Just tweaking it. Just tweaking it. On the fly. Flying high now. And uh, Florida Stanley's in the house. Right there. Oh, that was that was some weird freaking no, Florida Stanley. Messing up the focus. Dang guy, get in your corner, you loser. <laughs> oh, so let's see. Um, I did fart in the park. And it was loud, and people cheered, and they applauded me. Slipping in my old age? Well, that's nothing new. Holy crap. It's just one of those things. Just wait until you get up there, girly. Got on eBay recently. I found a good deal on a Radio Shack Pro 97 handheld scanner. Cool. That sounds like fun. My wife is going to pop in and say hello. Well, pop away. Just doing. Hey, this is the kind of chips I got last night. First of all, I, I, I got myself a Fago cream soda. Uh, Fago is wonderful. Fago just, so far, Fago can do no wrong. And this is another brand that can do no wrong in my eyes. Hers. I got these fire roasted sweet corn. And these chips taste spot on like fire roasted sweet corn on the cob. They are really good. If you have a chance to grab these, wherever you are, no. And Andrea should be selling them. It's 7 Eleven. Doggone it. These are really good. Just this, this sweet taste of corn on the cob that's been cooked on a grill. It's exactly what it tastes like. Oh, camera girls telling the stories again. Hey, Tony, on Monday we had a hailstorm in Virginia. It was sunny and hot one moment, then next it was dark and we had a hailstorm. Then the storm cleared and it was sunny. <laughs> wow, that sounds like Florida. Except I have never seen hail here. I've heard it does happen down south further. But I've never seen it here in the Panhandle. Oh man, I got I got a lot of good farts. I got juicy ones. You ever seen the channel um, Stupid? Is it called Stupid Poop? What's uh, I mean? This guy is a uh, guy who goes into stores, and he has this this fart contraption. He is so hilarious. Funniest guy I've ever seen. He's like Jack Vale, only taken up like 20 levels. He, he's crazy. Uh, stupid. God, what is he? What's it called? Here, let me go ahead and look it up real quick so I can give it to you. He, This guy is hilarious. He'll stare at somebody and grunt. He'll, he'll walk eyes and grunt. And oh, man. And then let one fly. Stupid. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Super stupid poop. 
I'm going to promote this guy. Okay. Um, you may have to take out the at. YouTube is still putting in the at stuff. Anyway, this guy is a crack up. There you go. Enjoy. If you enjoy farts, you'll enjoy that guy. Um, what? You don't work at 7-Eleven anymore? New takeover? What the crap's going on now? I mean, first it was corporate. Then it was franchise. Then it was corporate. Then it was back to franchise. So what's going on now, Andrea? Oh, I guess I don't need that up. So did did you just leave? Or were you asked to leave? You're asking over 75, 80 bucks for the Pro 97 on Fleabay. Got the Big Brother Mobile 2055. So is that good? Is that a good price, Todd? Barely have hers here. Yeah, I know. We, we didn't have hers back in Vancouver. Uh, it was hard to find back in Vancouver. But here, there, it's all over. It's always just the hot ones. Thankfully, the cheese puffs were actually hot, though. Car Ooh, Carolina Reaper, too hot for me. Carolina Reaper would make me. <laughs> Gonna order dinner. Ooh, what are you ordering? Power went out five times Thursday at my house. How come? Oh, yeah, Jack. Jack does good videos, and he's a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. Um, we had a, uh, he, he actually contacted me um, about doing a, um, a fart video um, years and years ago back in Vancouver. And so he came and got a chance to meet him and we set up this little fart prank and it was funny. Hey, Mana. How you doing? What's up? And come to the stream. Do I have any aunts and uncles still alive? Um, as far as I know, I have one aunt. I kind of lost touch with family a long, long time ago uh, for various reasons. But I, I, I'm, I know that I have at least one alive still. Aardvark nacho fries. Now, isn't that isn't that spicy hot, Albert? Isn't aardvark like a hot sauce? George and Sue, then Cor yeah, George and Sue were horrible. Man, I'm glad they left. They were horrible. Then Brad, then Corp. I left in May. For a fact, I was pretty disabled. Pretty disabled? So you left just recently, but but what's going on now? You said takeover, so takeover by who? Hey, Psycho, what's up, man? Hello. How you doing? Damn good price for what I gave for it, 40 bucks. Oh, 40 bucks. Hey, Waka, what's up? <laughs> What's happening, hot stuff? So did you, um, was it like a, a bidding war? So it wasn't a buy it now, but a bidding type thing? I'll, I'll kind of look into that, Albert. I haven't been to Apple, please, in, since I was back in Vancouver. And I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I'll check. Windy as heck. What? How? How strong are we talking? Doing good, Mana. Doing good. How's your weekend been so far? It is Saturday after all. Yes, Ardvark is an animal, but I, I think it's also a hot sauce. And Mayflower Spring Pilgrims. That's a good joke, Brett. That's awesome. No, I think it is Aardvark. I think it's a hot sauce. Hey, trained. 
What's up, man? Mr. Lego. What's up? Mr. Lego in the house. Hey, Joe. What do you Hello. know? Bed type. Okay. Well, that's good. That was half off then. Nice. Nice job, man. Not your fries return to talk. Oh, not your fries again. Yeah, the aardvark sauce. Right, right. Weather is finally nice. Nice. So have you been having bad weather, Mana? And how 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 nice are we talking? We are finally in the lower 80s now. A little too hot for me, but finally in the lower 80s. And supposedly it's supposed to be uh, above average heat here in Florida this summer. So we'll see. Here comes the New coffee subscription from Andy. Here comes the money. Oh. Money, money, money. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mandy. Appreciate that. I'm not sure why the, the animation didn't go off. I need to get a new animation. Kofi needs to do an, uh, do more animations, just like they do Super Chats. But thank you so much. Everybody give Andy a self-high five. Thank you, dear, very much. I appreciate that. Oh, Joe, I don't care for either one of you. I like you as the person behind that account. But as far as the real deal, I don't care for either one of you. Okay, so I say we spring weather, which I'm super stoked about. So what's what's a spring temperature for you? I'm looking up artwork sauce. And I'll bring you over here when I find something. Hard bark sauce. So yeah, I think it's secret. Secret aardvark, I believe. Okay, let me go ahead and bring you over here to the desktop. There we go. Okay, so there. Secret aardvark. Um no, I don't want to subscribe. So they've got three alarm. Three alarm pack. Let's see. Do they have just sauce locator? I just want to see what you have. See all combos. Magnificent seven. So they've got packs of this stuff. Ardvark Cerebonero. Drunken garlic. Jamaican marinade, smoky aardvark, chipotle, habanero sauce, Ugh. red scorpion. Oh my gosh. Aardvark reaper. Okay, well, Meek, there you go. I guess if you look, oh, see, look, secret aardvark nacho fries nationwide at Taco Bell 425. Okay, so now we all know, not that I'm going to be trying any of those. Heat wimp, you know. Um, but yeah, okay. So, oh, they've got a green. Oh, that's a Cerebonero. So it's a green hot sauce. Drunken jerk Jamaican marinade. Huh. So, no, I don't want to do that. Find Secret Aardvark at your favorite local market. Just enter your location. Okay, so there you go. You can see if, uh, go there and see if it's around you. Make, uh, it's secretardvark.com. Now you know. Now we all know. Right? Right on, babies. Right on, babies. Make it all go. my <laughs> wish. Mid 60s, sunny gentle wind. That sounds very pleasant. That sounds perfect. Uh, sunny above 50 degrees. Well, it's getting there then. Okay. Yeah, 50 is still a little cold for me. About 65 is just absolutely perfect for me. 
going to finish listening to a song I haven't listened to fully in years. Have fun with that, buddy. Scoville rating around 5,000, which is hot enough to be noticeable, but not so hot that it overpowers other flavors. See, that's the that's the thing that bugs me is when a hot sauce is so hot that it wipes out a flavor. If it's just hot for the sake of being hot, it's just like, why would anybody put themselves through that? But if it allows the flavor through, flavor through then it's a, a doable hot sauce. But as I've said, Anything over a um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sixty six degrees right now. Let's see what it is here. The mobile phone of fluff. Um, it is, and it's seven twenty six p.m. It is. Do, do. Come on, refresh. Dang, guys. What's going on? Refresh. Dang, guys. There we go. It is 73 degrees right now. 73. So it's supposed to be a low tonight of 68. So still fairly warm all night long. Ah, uh, let's see. Dala Dala. Dala Dala Mr. Mr. Sheen O'Mac. Doesn't sound strong. What? They're talking Reaper and crap like that, though. How can that not be hot? Yeah, the the, the bottle design is cute. My husband and I love watching your reviews. Well, I appreciate you being here. That makes me feel good, Miss Mandy. Thank you so much. I like people who like watching me. <laughs> That's kind of creepy sounding. Woo, 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 woo! Uh, let's see. What did the Scarecrow win an award for? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> Those are dead jokes, Brent. That's awesome. That's funny. I tried Yellowbird. Yeah, I tried Yellowbird when uh, they had them on the fries at Taco Bell. And I didn't like it because it was way too hot for me. I actually did a review. So if you want to look that up, you can do that. See, Yellowbird was hot for me, Meek. 42 degrees here in Bryan, Ohio. Well, hello, Brian. Nice to meet you, Fred. 42, that's cold. Wow. Tony, when you get older, the mind goes out first, I heard. Um, I think it depends on the person. I think my body has gone out first. Because, I mean, my mind... Uh, with some memory lapses and stuff like that. My mind is still, you know me, I'm still 12 years old. There you go. Oh, Gamer Girl has a work story. Okay, shoot, girlfriend. Tombstone has a new tavern-style pizza. I haven't had a tombstone in forever. They were, They actually used to be fairly reasonably priced. It's warmer than here. It's 61 right now. See, Joni, that's perfect for me. Around that, 61, 65, 67, that's, that's perfect for me. Any word from the Rizzler? Who's the Rizzler? If you go into a room and before you get there, you plumb forgot what you... Yeah. I think we've all done that, though, even the young'uns. That's just that's just called a brain fart. Oh, speaking of which, uh, let's see. Where's our favorite fart lady? I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my mind. Yeah. All right, all right, 
thank you, toothless fart lady. Nice of you to show your toothless grin and a fart out your butt. Uh, can you try the new Subway chicken salad wrap? Miss Vicky's? Viv Vivkey's? I don't know what that is. Is that a restaurant? Miss Vivkey's? Wingstop. Is it a, a new rub for the wings? Is it a dry rub or is it a saucy one? I like dry ones. I like ones that are baked into the skin like the KFC hot wings. KFC or, yeah, KFC, bring back your freaking hot wings. I had a clock for breakfast. It was super time consuming. <laughs> I was working at the self-checkout. There was a man that came in carrying a case of water bottles. 48 degrees. That's cold too, Todd. Man, I love the fart lady. She's the best. That's true. Oh, Miss Vicky's is a... I've never heard of Miss Vicky's. I don't think I've ever seen a chip bag that said Miss Vicky's. No, we don't have Einstein Brothers. I think that's only a, I, I thought Einstein Brothers was only a uh, Pacific Northwest coffee or um, shop, wasn't it? Kind of like, uh, um, wow, yeah, I'm having the brain farts tonight. Dutch Bros, kind of like Dutch Bros, I think. Um, I kept my eye on him because they were water bottles from our store and I thought he might be trying to shoplift. I watched him grab some eggs, but then a customer needed some help finding something. See, I, I, I like these. Gamer Girl does these little ADHD little shots as we go along, so it's not like this big, huge thing. Did you see new Dr. Pepper? I saw that it's coming out. I, I want to try that when it does come out, Albert. <laughs> Debris is all over the streets. <laughs> Got an aunt whose name is Vicky, but I used aunt loosely. Oh, okay. I helped her, and by the time I came back to the self-checkout, the man's self-checkout stand was blinking. I went over, the eggs and water were gone. He had not paid for them. He had waited until I looked away and said, wow. That's horrible. That's horrible. What a piece of crap. McDonald's released Cajun Ranch McCrispy. It's probably crap. I haven't seen that over here. See, I don't know. I may actually like that because I do like a nice Cajun flavor. I'm going into my Mickey D's app to see. I said, thanks for stealing from your local. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Um, uh, let's go to order. And let's go to sandwich and meals. Oh, they do. Now they do. A bacon Cajun Ranch Deluxe McCrispy. A bacon Cajun Ranch McCrispy. A McCrispy. A Deluxe McCrispy. McCrispy, a spicy McCrispy, a deluxe spicy McCrispy. Holy crap, they got the whole works. Man, they want $6.29 for that deluxe Cajun Ranch one. $5.29 for the regular bacon one. Uh, $4.29 for a regular McCrispy. Deluxe McCrispy is $4.99. $4.39 for the spicy. $5.39 for the deluxe spicy. Wow, those are up there. That's crazy. Friggin' for a meal on the deluxe bacon Cajun one, they want $9.29. That's out of control. That's crazy. Cajun is hot, but it's it's a kind of spice depending on where I get it from, that I can deal with.
Not gonna say the name just in case your boss sees the stream. <laughs> I mean, he 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 would have to know about that, wouldn't he? Did, did you guys tell him that this guy stole? I mean, do you have cameras in the store that would show this guy? I would hope so. Why did the invisible man decline the job offer? He couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> At least it was food. I don't understand why people would steal cheap makeup. When I, I don't understand why people would steal anything. I don't get it. They're twisted. Snack wraps. Um, now KFC is bringing back something. Aren't those the snack wraps? I think they're they're coming back, Albert. Seven ninety nine there. Wow. Didn't they have the Cajun years ago? I do not know. If I got fired from my job for sharing stories, what would you do? Well, that would suck. Why? Why? Because all you're doing is, is stating facts. That that would be stupid. I mean, there's nothing I could do about it except say that's that's stupid. How's the weather here? Shao says the weather here is 72 degrees. And it's been in the upper 70s to low 80s all last week. And it's supposed to be the same this week. We, we're supposed to have a little bit of rain, a little sporadic, a little bit of rain tomorrow. But that's it. It'll probably last like 15 minutes and go away, if that. I haven't seen the coconut Dr. Pepper, but it reminds me of a dirty Dr. Pepper. Oh, those dirties were good. I had the dirty with that Coke. Did you see that review, Miss Mandy? That was good. I like that. I was hoping that uh, last time I was there, they would have kept it around because I stopped in just for something cheap to eat um, on my way down to the beach. And uh, they didn't have it anymore. I was disappointed. But I like that. Yeah, I want to try that coconut one. A pig fell in the mud. There's your dirty store. <laughs> stream. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Dodd. Yeah, I've seen that New York Pizza Domino's. They want like 12, I think they want it 12 dollars for it. I can't imagine spending that much for a pizza. No, we don't have Jack in the Box around here, Albert. That is one fast food place we do not have. Oh, so they had the Cajun McChicken. Well, this is called a McCrispy. I wonder if it's the same thing or if they just rebranded it. Probably the same thing. They just called it something different now. I remember it having lots of pepper on it. So pepper's not bad. Went to the restaurant on the moon. Food was delicious, but there was no atmosphere. Have I ever seen someone shoplift? Not to my knowledge. I usually keep to myself. I am a introvert. So I usually keep to myself. Uh, I usually don't look around a whole heck of a lot. Yes, I did. I did try the dirty Coca-Cola, but Sonic went too heavy on the coconut milk. Oh, really? I thought they would have that like evened out, just portioned out. Just maybe one syrup with all that stuff in it. Huh, well, that's too bad. Did did they put a, a lemon in yours, Miss Mandy? Because they put a lemon slice in mine. And it actually was good. It was a free flavor. $12.99 is cheap for a pizza. See, that's why I don't go out to, to pizza places parlors and crap like that because that's expensive my grandma told me that one years ago in the 90s grandmas always have great jokes currently 40 degrees in paris france well i won't be going there then thank you for the update psycho it's 30 for large cheese at a local pl that's insane Probably just a bigger cut of chicken. I don't know. Everything goes smaller. I mean, the prices go up and the portions get smaller. 
So I'd be surprised if it was larger. Farmer's boy. Farmer boys? No. What is farmer boys, Albert? Why didn't Han Solo like his burger? It was too chewy. <laughs> Ever try Pepsi mix with milk? I did once because Laverne on Laverne is surely like that. So when when I, I was younger, I, I tried it. It was icky. Yeah. Jack in the Box dirty sodas are pretty good. So is that just like the Sonic ones? The dirty drinks from Sonic? That is what I thought. They actually put a lime slice. So you got a lime in yours. Yeah, I mean, they tout that the Orange Fanta and the Dr. Pepper is the best for those, for the dirty drinks. Someone is bringing out a blue milk. Well, I know they have that at uh, Disney World. In the Is it Disney World or Disneyland? Wherever they have the the Star Wars land or whatever the crap it is, they have blue milk there. Bacon ranch loaded fries. I doubt it. I doubt it very much. I don't like stuff on top of my fries. It's kind of like a no-no because it makes, it makes your fries soggy. Now, if it was something on the side or something, that'd be a different story. I agree. It's... It's kind of disappointed in everything later. Yeah. Price is more expensive, but quality is downhill. Yep, yeah, that's the way it goes and it goes and go goes in everywhere there, Joni. Kind of like a fancy gas station. Oh, okay. So it is is it a convenience store at a gas station or is it like a truck stop? Yeah, Laverne didn't do us any favors, did she? make that was that was gross yeah costco has not changed their food court prices um actually at sam's club they lowered the price of the hot dog combo it was like a dollar 95 for a drink and a hot dog and i they've got to use nathan's i'm convinced i had another one the other day and it's so good um but they went from like a dollar 98 they lowered it down to a dollar 58 now which is cool. Yeah, I've seen those KFC deals. Uh, about the only one that I think I'd get is the two-piece with the side and the biscuit. That would be good for $4.99. Pineapple Express Dirty Soda. So what is all in that besides, obviously, pineapple? I see Ric Flair advertising for generic Viagra for like 80 cents. Oh my gosh. Rick, just turn off the camera. Sit in your lounge chair. Recline back and just retire from everything. Please. It's time. I should do, a, I should put a, a Ric Flair woo inside my stream deck. That'd be fun. True Moo brand has blue milk. What's it taste like? Am I doing a garden? Actually, um, I've got an inside one. I'll, I'll post a picture. It's it's really a cool little machine. Um, and the, and uh, vegetables is what I have in it right now. And I usually don't do stuff like that. I've never done stuff like that. Flowers and crap like that. First of all, I don't care for flowers. But I mean, veggies and, and stuff that grows. I have a gangrene thumb. I can kill anything in seconds. Chocolate Coke? I've never had chocolate Coke. 78 degrees in Hawaii? That sounds very pleasant. Blimpy subs, I do. I do remember Blimpy subs. I don't think I ever ate there, though. Rotisserie gold. Didn't, uh, didn't they have that? Wasn't that hot, Miss Mandy? I seem to remember that vaguely. 
Costco chicken bake is two ninety nine is big enough for two people. That'd be nice if Sam's Club would get that. They don't have uh, a chicken bake, but what they do have that I'm going to review is they have this pizza pretzel, pretzel which comes, uh, it's got sauce on it. It's got, I think it's got sauce on it. It does have cheese on it, melted cheese on it, and pepperoni on top. And it's a big soft pretzel. And it's like, I think it's like, is it $1.99? I don't know. Rick has drug problems. Wouldn't surprise me. I put short up about the pineapple. Oh, I'll have to look it up. Pineapple Express last week. One is a shake. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have to check that out, Meg. Uh, did you see McDonald's Canada has a remix menu from 1989? I did not. What does it consist of, Albert? that they don't already have. Ever, ever been to the Kellum, I can't even pronounce that, building? Where, where is that, Psycho? Never had a Nathan's? Oh, man. I'll say it again for those who have never heard it. Before I had a Nathan's hot dog, I, I was convinced that all hot dogs were the same. They all tasted kind of bland, and it was just kind of cheap filler stuff. Then I tasted a Nathan's hot dog, and I'm going, oh, wow, they're not all the same. It's more expensive than, you know, brand, what is it, Brand S or whatever, and Oscar Mayer and crap like that. But their quality, they have a snap to them when you bite into them, and they just have a wonderful juicy flavor to them. They're really good. You got to try Nathan's if you get a chance, Eric. If you spell the words absolutely nothing backwards, you get which ironically means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Never have hot dogs. I rarely do. I get sausages a lot. Usually cheese-filled sausages. Um, I like those. I'll, I'll stick those in my air fryer. And cook those up. Oahu. So that's over in Oahu. I've never been to Hawaii. So if that's in Hawaii, that building is in Hawaii, Psycho. No, I haven't. I've never heard of it. It wasn't hot or spicy at all, but it was full of flavor. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure then. I thought I remembered it. Obviously, I didn't. Nick is from Kenoi. Kind of, kind of want to lay ya. Have you ever seen the outtakes from uh, Grumpy Old Men with the the dad, the old dad from from Kind of Want to Lay Ya? Um, was released in the late 80s, early 90s. Okay, I'm not familiar then. I'm going to have to look that up, Miss Mandy. Hey, Sidge. How you doing, man? What's up? How's it going? You can second the fact that Nathan's is great. It really is. There is a Nathan's hot dog shop down in uh, Pier Park in Panama City Beach expensive as crap i would never get it there but i would go to the store if i felt extra like there was extra money in my pocket and grab them there but i would never grab one from that shop it's so expensive skyline chili has their own hot dog made just for their store see now i i know that somebody's mentioned skyline chili before miss mandy um, but there isn't one around here, and and I did not ever notice that brand in Walmart or any store that I've been to before somebody mentioned it. Now I see it all over the place. So I see the chili, but I've never had it. 
Nathan's is the official hot dog of the 4th of July hot dog eating contest at Coney Island. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. The easiest way to pronounce Hawaiian words is to break it up by syllables to no two consonants together. Um, actually, Skyline Albert is a restaurant who canned their chili and stuff. Yeah, if you, if you look it up, just go ahead and look up Skyline Chili and you will can read all about it. You're cheating here. Got the stream on your bedroom TV and I'm typing on my iPhone. <laughs> how's, how's that cheating? That's just, that's just smart. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I just ordered both on Amazon, so I'll let you know. Now, I've heard that one before. That's funny. Okay, so Miss Mandy says that Skyline is based in Chicago, in Cincinnati. You can purchase cans of it at your local grocery store. How much are movies at the theater? I don't know, Shal. I have never been to the theater once since I've been here. So I don't know how much tickets are. Probably pretty expensive. No, actually I have. I went to see what I see. Um can't remember what I went to see, but I went to see at a theater that is still open in the Dead Mall here. No other store is open. The mall's not even open. But the theater that was in the mall now has is still open. And you go through the back door where they would usually, you know, come out and go to their cars or come out and dump garbage. So that's how you get into the theater now. Um, and I paid very cheap price. I think I paid like five bucks or something like that. Sound of Freedom. That's what I saw. Sound of Freedom there. Hanging with Bill did a few Skyline videos. Most of the time I see the cheese as it melted. Malcoli, is that how you pronounce it? Welcome, welcome. Hello. 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 I'll, just, I'll just call you Malk for short. I got to shorten names that I'm not sure of, just so I don't slaughter them again. What's my opinion on Wilford Brimley? Isn't Wilford Brimley dead now? I believe he died a while, quite a while back. David. <laughs> In a job interview, they asked me if I can perform under pressure. I told them I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> That's good. In a retirement mall? Well, I'm I, hopefully, see, my goal is to get into a retirement community down in Panama City Beach that I want to go to very, very badly. It's so cool. Uh, happy 420 day. What is 420 day, Todd? Going to the cinema is fun, but the popcorn butter is strictly grease. Oh, I love, I love freaking uh, theater popcorn. Is selling their popcorn. Yeah, I've seen those AMC theater bags at the, at the store. Miss Mandy, did have you ever gone to Walmart and seen their like little containers, little um, paper containers that have the popcorn in them and have a film over it and you stick it in the microwave? I can't remember what it's called, but it was only at Walmart. And they only charged a dollar for it. And it was wonderful. It was just like theater popcorn. So buttery. And it just took like a couple minutes in the nuker. 
and I can't find it anymore. They took it away. I did a review. I believe I did a review on it uh, on the channel. And I can't remember what it was called, but they don't have it anymore. It sucks. I'm near the villages, retired people. Oh, really? Okay, so you're here in, in Florida? Okay, I know what you're talking about. Uh, the place that I'm talking about is called Latitude Margaritaville Water Sound. Um, so I'm sure you know about it. I think they have a Daytona Beach one too. Um, and I'm not sure where the other one is. But that's where I want to go. That's my... That's my uh, where, what I'm shooting for. Oh, 420. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so we could, we could say happy 421 day tomorrow, right? Weed day. Don't be pulling weeds. We weeds want to live. They want to live too. 420 is oh, okay. I didn't know that. I've never even tried it. it. Just wasn't my thing. And I had good friends in high school and throughout grade school and stuff like that who never pushed me into stuff. Um which was nice. Been a while since you've been to Walmart. Gotcha. Can I do a dab? I don't remember how to do that. Somebody taught me a long time ago. It's like something like that. I, I don't know. There you go. That's what she said. Don't like Walmart too well here in Salem, Oregon. It's kind of scary down there in Salem, isn't it? I have a, uh, a brother-in-law that lives down in Eugene. So he's kind of down there. What does a pampered cow make? Spoiled milk. <laughs> Haven't been at Walmart in 20 years. Where do you shop, Albert? Everyone's, I love Piggly Wiggly. Any of you ever been to Piggly Wiggly? That's a, that's a great store. Gave it up 16 years ago. Well, good for you. What are some of my favorite video games? Oh my gosh. I'm playing a ton of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor now. I love Deep Rock Galactic. I love Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. There's another few that I'm doing uh, right now. Let me show you. Um, as far as just all time stuff, I love the Bioshock series. Um, I love Prey, which was Beth uh, Bethesda. Um, I love No Man's Sky. Let me go ahead and take you over here, and I'll show you some of the stuff that I play. Okay, so here's Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. I'm playing Atomic Heart right now, which is kind of cool. Star Citizen, which somebody bought me a ship for. Otherwise, I never would have started playing it because it's expensive. But I got 32 megs of, or 32 gigs of memory now, so I doubled my memory. And so I'm able to play Star Citizen very smoothly now. Uh, no Man's Sky, I really like. I uh, just recently got Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, let's see, Dinkum, I really enjoy, which is kind of like Animal Crossing, but it's in the Australian Outback. Um, AEW's Fight Forever is good. I've got Sea of Thieves. I think that's pretty fun. Team Fortress 2 is just a blast, and it has been forever and ever. Still topped out at 1,882 hours of Team Fortress 2. God of War, I still haven't played that yet, but I've got it. Um, Wobbly Life is kind of fun. I love the Tomb Raider series. Absolutely adore the Tomb Raider series. Uh, let's see some of the other stuff. Strange Brigade, awesome game. They need to make a two. Uh, my time at Sandrock is pretty cool. 
Um, Wreckfest is an awesome racing and demolition derby game. Uh, Lego World is pretty fun. Um, Alice, the Alice, the first one, American McGee's Alice is my favorite, but uh, Mammoth Returns is pretty good. Haven Dock is a lot of fun. It's a life sim. Uh, Planet Zoo is cool. Titanfall 2. Absolutely love this game. Was so mad that Rebellion, who made it, never made a follow-up to this because they left us on a cliffhanger, and that wasn't fair. Uh, there's Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Sub-Zero or Subnautica Below Zero. Still haven't played it. I got it a year ago and still haven't played it. No, actually, two years ago and still haven't played it. Isn't that crazy? There's Subnautica. Love Subnautica. Slime Rancher is a lot of fun. Tons of fun. Uh, the uh, Shadow of Mordor is great game. And uh, Shadow War is another great one along the same lines. American Truck Simulator, absolutely love it. I've got a racing wheel that I use with it. I've got a uh, um, headgear that allows me to not have to use the mouse to look around and stuff like that, um, which is is a lot of very cool. Uh, there's Bioshock. There's Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Rise of Tomb Raider, um, Batman stuff. I like those. Those are cool. But I mean, I've got so much. Alien Isolation scares the crap out of me. I can play like maybe 10 minutes at the most before I get so creeped out by the ambiance and everything. Yeah, it, it, it just goes on and on and on. I've got so many games. And th this is just Steam alone. Let me get down to the regular uh, without the categories. Um, that should act relaxing. Uncategorized. See, I've got 212 uncategorized, but I think I total like 260 something. And then I've got Epic, then I've got Amazon Prime, um, I've got GOG, and I've got uh, a couple other services that I've got games on. Yeah, so anyway, let me get back over to the chat and see what everybody's saying. Um, I've never had the, the Orville Redenbacher popcorn, Joni. Is that pretty good? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the dab with the arm thing. Yesterday, I got a man mad at me for asking for his I Again, is this the same guy or are we talking about, because you told me about that one guy. So did you get somebody else who got all cranky because he asked for ID? Yeah, No Man's Sky is very cool. Let me see how much it is right now. I, I mean, it, see, No Man's Sky is the comeback king of video game history. Because when it first came out, it was total crap. And then all of a sudden, they turned it around. And it's just like a wonderful game that they do huge updates for free that are just enormous. And it, it's just like this huge, it's just like this huge game. It's really fun. Um, let me go to the store page. Now, introducing... Um, Summer sales should be coming up pretty soon, I would think. See, wait for the summer sale. They they want 60 bucks for it right now, which was more than it was when it first came out. So yeah, they want they want too much for it right now. Wait for the summer sale. But it's single player, it's online PvP, it's online co-op, it's cross-platform multiplayer. Um let me show you, let me go ahead and show you a um uh, video. This is the most recent update. No Man's Sky Orbital. The Orbital update brings a complete overhaul to space stations. 
Featuring new shops and activities, stations are now uniquely customized based on system, race, and locale. Engine improvements allow for vast interior spaces and immersive visuals. Customize your starship in the new ship editor. This is new, which is Never very before seen starship types are now possible. Being able to customize it right there is awesome. Ships can be salvaged for parts to create completely new ship designs. I love getting into that. Warp in to rescue your fleet if they get attacked on away missions. Join a guild, improve your reputation, and even get discounts at the guild shop. Space station exteriors look incredible and are hugely varied. More will follow. And that's the most recent update right there. I could not recommend this game enough. I would highly recommend that you, you pick it up. But, but like I said, wait for the summer sale. Oh, Introducing No Man's Man Sky, Omega. Just, they just keep on making videos that introduce the new updates. Um, you ever played the three Super Mario Brothers at all? Oh yeah, all of them. I, I, you mean Mario Bros. and 1 and 2 and 3? So 1, 2, and 3? Yeah, I've played the originals, absolutely. I mean, I've got them on my Switch with Nintendo Online, which is nice. I'm always happy to show people my ID makes me feel young. <laughs> Scribble it. I think I may have that. That's a game, right? Is that what you're talking about? Gamer girl. Um, oh yeah, okay. I've got Scribble Dots. Have you ever played Scribble Dots? That's fun. Oh, it's free. Okay. Scribble it is a multiplayer drawing and guessing game. Get in a lobby with up to sixteen players and choose from thousands of official words packed in a variety of high quality things kind of sounds like a kind of like a, a jackbox game knockoff but it's free so that's very cool it gets mostly positive to very positive ratings interesting um prey is excellent yes it is kind of spooky hey bunny What's up? How you doing? Hey, What's happening, hot stuff? Uh, not big on popcorn, but this looks like movie here. Kind of a big time. Okay. Interesting. Okay. If you ever get around a Walmart, see if you can find what I'm talking about. It's in a square container. It's like white with red stripes. And it's it's got, like I said, it's got the popcorn down inside with a, a plastic, some kind of plastic layer over it, film over it. So when you stick it in the microwave, it starts to puff up real big, kind of like Jiffy Pop popcorn did or does still. Um, and you just peel it off and it's just so buttery. It's so good. But I don't know if it's anywhere anymore. Oh, yeah, I've got all three of the Oryx Must Die. I like those. I, I love um, tower defense games. There's this one that I really, really enjoy. Um, hold on. Let me tell you and, and see if you know it. Uh, let's see. Where was it? Um, it's It's got a first and a second one. Oh, uh, let's see. Where, 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 where? I'm a looking. I'm a looking.
Let's see, hold on. Maybe I can do a filter. Sort by recent activity. Um, Defense Grid. Defense Grid 2 was the first one that I ever tried playing, and I absolutely loved it. If you've never, the, the one I just got was the first one, which is Defense Grid The Awakening. Um, so if you don't know about those or you've never seen those, look those up. I think you'll really like them if you like Orcs Must Die. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, like I said, Shal, I went to the movie theater probably a year ago here at the Old Dead Mall, uh, and it was about five bucks. Um, it was cool. You're sure talking was the lousiest game video. Well, yeah, I mean, it was a full blast. I tried to turn it down. Anyway. Yeah, it, it, it really is cool, Mal. Uh, but wait until the summer sale and it'll probably be like half price or something like that, or maybe even less. <laughs> Gotta get going. You haven't, well, I thought your wife was coming in me. Did she come in and not just say anything or did I just miss it? Or is that mana? Is it mana? I don't know. Okay, okay, so it is mana. Okay, gotcha. Okay, now I've made the connection. All right, well, you guys have a wonderful evening and the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. No trolls tonight. We're troll free here tonight. And if not, we got Eric on the, the ban button. Your, your channel has got over 1 million views. Very nice, Psycho. Congrats, man. Congrats, buddy. That's awesome. Possum. Oh, I need some more of this this nice fire roasted sweet corn hers chips. Yeah, the trolls usually live in their parents' basement. That's why they're trolls because they don't get out much. Sunlight affects the growth of their cells and their brain their gray matter and that's why they're so stupid but there's no reason to talk about them because they're not here tonight that's good stuff parents grounded them probably more than like a um Who are we missing tonight? We're missing somebody tonight. We're missing a few people, but we're missing Chevy. That's who we're missing. We're Chevy. Chevy's always here. Huh. See, that's just it. When you guys are regulars on stream and you don't show up for a while, I actually get worried about you. And I'm going... Where are they? I hope they're okay. Because, you know, that's the way my brain works. I always go to the worst possible scenario. Oh, man, they got in an accident or something happened or got taken out by a storm or something like that. So, Chevy, let me know you're okay, buddy. Trolls were dropped on their heads as babies. Very sure. Yeah, hers hers is great. I really like hers. They don't keep up with their hygiene. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had the ketchup ones. I've had the ketchup chips of some kind. I wonder if it was hers. I do not remember. 
Do I remember Howard Johnson's? Hojo's? Hojo's? Yeah, I've never been to one, but I've seen them. Movie theater here in Salem, Oregon, $15. Now, yeah, I'd never do that. See, the only reason I would go to a theater is if it is a big epic thing that I would want to see on the silver screen or the big screen. So if it was like Godzilla minus one, wasn't it? That's what it's called. I would have seen that on the theater, on on the in the theater on big screen. Um, Star Wars movies, I mean, they're not anything anymore. First three were great. Last three sucked, and from there, suck, suck, sucked. As soon as Disney got a hold of Star Wars, it sucked. Um, but um, it, it's got to be a big epic thing that's worth seeing on this on big screen. Otherwise, I'll just wait until it comes to streaming. Your TV girlfriend? What's what? What is that? Do I like tomato soup? I do. Um, uh, um, grilled cheese and tomato. I like roasted, roasted tomato soup. Oh man, that is good. Some good stuff. If you've ever had roast, never had roasted tomato, try that. I have not played Fallout. Any of the Fallout's. Yeah, I know that they're on sale. At least the last I looked, they're all on sale right now. So if you want to get a cheap Fallout game, they're all on sale right now. Yeah, dark chocolate is actually pretty good. As long as it's not too high a cocoa, you know, like if it's like 90, 100%, that, that gets to be like baker's chocolate to me. Yeah, there's a Fallout TV show on uh amazon prime no it's on is it on yeah it's on amazon prime not netflix right is it on netflix but anyway i watched the first episode wasn't too excited with it so i didn't watch the second one rachel ray oh okay okay gotcha Jill, hi from Vancouver, Washington. Hello. Hello. You're in my old stomping grounds. So, so how's the weather there right now? I haven't talked to my son recently. It's on Prime. Okay, so it is. Thanks for supporting the channel, Chevy Five Speed. Oh, there's Chevy right there. the heck thank you chevy i was wondering about you i was worried about you everybody get chevy a high five thank you so much for the donation buddy i appreciate that very much didn't get a get, didn't get a pop-up what the crap's up with that oh i wonder if it's if it's the the source is in the wrong place hold on let me go ahead and go to kofi and i'll move it up to the top just in case that's what's going on because i like to recognize you guys when you donate okay so i moved it up to the top thank you chevy but at least it it shows you on the on the chat that's cool i was super picky as a young child i could probably count the things i ate back then on i'm still super picky i won't eat by texture of course texture is a big thing for me i will not eat by color sometimes and i sometimes i won't be eat by name if it's named weird i have never tried a squash that sounds gross i have never tried an eggplant that sounds weird name texture color yeah, I'm super picky still. I do eat carrots, but they've got to be either raw or they've got to be stir-fried. A stir-fried texture. You know, mushy carrots, I ain't going to touch. 
But if it's kind of got a little snap to it, like a stir-fried carrot, I do like those. And and I did like them when I um, put them in the oven up near the top. And oh man, those were good. Squash is really gross. Okay, well, I don't feel so bad, Singe. Not trying it then. My picky eating is likely due to being on the spectrum. Oh, really? Okay. Kiwi. I don't know if I've ever had kiwi. I mean, there are some things that I do like. I love watermelon. Um, uh, I love the taste of peaches, just not the texture. So if I have something like, if I get like a peach slush from Sonic, love it. Uh, mango. Uh, the flavor, love it. Uh, I like strawberries. I like raspberries. I like uh, not a blueberry fan, not a blackberry fan. Um, I like celery with peanut butter, of course. Got to have peanut butter on your celery. Um, God, what else? Cucumbers. I love cucumbers with salt and vinegar. Good stuff. Um, a few others, but very few. Sunny side up eggplant. I do like sunny side up eggs, just not eggplant. Wheat germ, succotash. I've never <laughs> succotash. Once again, weird name, so I've never tried it. In the 50s. Yes, I moved them from the from Vancouver, Washington down here to Panama City, Florida. Two almost two and a half years ago. Clementine oranges. I've never had I've never had those. I like um mandarin oranges. Nice, nicely sweet. I like those. And I do like oranges. Apples. I'll eat apples. Um, I like either um, the the red sweet ones or I like the Granny Smith, the sour ones. Those are good. Stringy things on sour are a deal breaker. Gotcha. Oh, I love corn on the cob. Absolutely love it. That's That's one reason why I like this so much is this tastes like roasted corn on the cob roasted sweet corn which is what it's supposed to be like tastes exactly like it but yeah fresh corn on the cob oh my gosh with lots of butter can't get enough uh yeah salt and butter um eat it with the prongs on the in the end yeah eat it like that oh burgerville burgerville is yummy is the quality still up there, Jill? I mean, Burgerville, Burgerville is like Whataburger down here. Um, premium price, but premium quality. You actually get what you pay for. Uh, but I haven't been to Burgerville, obviously, in at least two and a half years. Um, so I don't know if the quality has gone down. Has the prices gone up? Probably, but I don't know about the quality. I do like lima beans, though, Jill. Tastes like Papa Shango. What? Don't be tasting Papa Shango. This is weird. Creamed hummingbird. What the heck is that? Oh, I hate beets. Ugh. I gag on beets. No way. Cream style corn. I do like that. Yeah. Artichoke. Never had an artichoke because of the name. Yes, cream chip beef on toast. Absolutely love it. SOS. Absolutely love it. Um uh, what is the other name for that, Albert? The Elodi. Is it Elode or Elodi? What's the other name for that? 
Is it, isn't that the Mexican street corn? If it is, I love that. I've had it in chip form and absolutely love it. I, I had it with the, when the Cheetos had the Mexican street corn. That was really good. Egg drop soup. Love it. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, is it, it's sweet and sour? Is it sweet and sour? Whatever that other soup is too. But love egg drop soup. Yeah. Uh, lo mein. Uh, yes, I do. I, I love Chinese food. So most of Chinese food, egg foo young is probably my favorite Chinese food dish. Gag on olives, really? See, I, I like black olives, but my favorite is the green olives with the pimento in. I've got some in the fridge right now. I love those things. Nice and salty. Burgerville's gone up in price and quality has decreased. Oh, really? That sucks. See, that's one thing that I can say about Whataburger is the quality is, is really good. Yeah, Mexican street corn. Okay, so I did get that right. Oh, yeah, I don't get any salt. I, I don't get no salt anything because they usually end up tasting not very good. See, I've never had Brussels sprouts either. It's just weird, weird name. Mushrooms, not a mushroom fan. I've never understood the appeal of mushrooms. I mean, one thing for the texture, but the other thing, I for some reason, they just don't have a flavor to me. So yeah, I, I don't get things with mushrooms. No pizza with mushrooms or anything. Garlic cloves? No. You mean you eat plain garlic cloves, Albert? Now, now Chevy hasn't said anything yet. Was that just a hit and run, Chevy? Are you still there? Did you just come in, donate, and leave? Chevy, come out to play, yay! Dropped my jar of olives earlier this week and was covered in juice. It was sad. <laughs> was it regular olives, Joni, or, or pimento? Or the, the green olives? No, don't role play as a troll. We don't need that kind of grief. Had olive garden last night. Had a big plate of chicken alfredo. Oh, that sounds good. Was it good? I hear that olive garden has gone downhill a lot too. Big plate of spaghetti with marinara and large meatballs. See, the thing is with um, with with spaghetti, I like white sauce stuff. So I like Alfredo and stuff like that, chicken Alfredo, and, and I don't like red sauce. Peanut butter in soup, I never have. I didn't know that was a thing. I was going to try mushrooms, but I couldn't keep the pizza lit. Figs. Um, I like Fig Newtons. I actually like the flavor of a Fig Newton, but I've never had a fig by itself. Got on the scale and I gained two pounds today. Well, that's not too bad. I, I've got to lose weight, man. I've got to lose weight. I got to go bike riding and walking a lot more than I do. Um... I was thinking of getting a treadmill eventually. Green ones with the pimento and ooh, that's good stuff. And and they went all over the floor. That sucks. On your lunch break, so I couldn't share. Oh no. So you you changed your clothes and your shoes, but you were still covered in green olive stuff. Oh, that sucks, Joni. Yes, I have had the Alfredo sauce from Domino's. I actually think I did a review. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. And I had it in the bread bowl, which was yummy. I really like that. I had that back in. I did a review when I was um, with my son for a while. I stayed with my son for a while back in Vancouver. 
and I I did a review there. You you can look that up on the channel here. Working at Olive Garden was soul sucking. I think most nine to five jobs are. That's why I finally got sick of it and said, "Okay, I'm done. I I don't care if I'm eating macaroni and cheese and and uh, and top ramen. I am never gonna work for somebody unless it's by choice." which I have a couple times, but it was only on a part-time basis to kind of break up with the monotony. But I mean, 20 years and still going strong, staying here at home and, and not answering to anybody. Oh, you ordered from Domino's. Did, did you get the uh, $5.99 special singe? The... Is it still five ninety nine for two things? Did you get that deal? Quit my job in two thousand eight and never looked back. Good for you, Todd. Yeah, um, Eric did the same thing. Eric works from home now strictly too. Bacon and grilled cheese. No, I usually don't because bacon's so expensive. But I would like it. I love bacon. It's, uh, who puts who here likes grilled cheese and who puts mayonnaise on the outside and grill it and, and, and cooks it up instead of butter? Raise of hands. Can I do a poll? Let me see if I can do a poll here. Um, let, let me see. Can I do a poll here? Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and start a poll. Um, mayo... Um, on grilled cheese. And I'll do yes and no. We'll just do yes and no. Do I have to fill that out? Yeah, I guess I have to fill that out. Um, or I'll add a third option. Ever tried it. Okay, let's take a poll. There we go. And we'll we'll reveal it at the end. Bacon is fantastic. Absolutely. I want McDonald's but don't want to leave the chat. <laughs> well, we'll take me along. Just just put your phone just bring it up on your phone and put it in your little phone carrier in your car. You've got one, right? The fish people razor clam and I I remember doing fish people and I didn't I didn't care for it. It wasn't very flavorful the way it should be. Oh okay, so you're on SSDI. Okay, gotcha. Well, that's kind of cool. At least you're still not having to answer to anybody, right? A mustard fried cheese tart. That sounds odd. I've never had that. Grilled cheese with butter. Okay. Yeah, I just found out about the mayo thing just like maybe a year ago that people were saying use mayo, it tastes better. Who'd have thunk it? Tasted more hearty, but wasn't as flavorful as butter. Really? Okay. It's your first light pole. <laughs> it's our first, too. Creamed duck on rye bread. That sounds odd. I like rye bread. I actually had, um, actually, the fourth week, remember, guys, the fourth week of the free uh, sandwich at Arby's is this week. So if you don't have the Arby's app on your phone or tablet or whatever, get the Arby's app because with any purchase, you can get a free sandwich. And it's any sandwich. I, the last one I got was a French uh, dip with au jus. I love their French dip. So yeah, this week is last week, the fourth week. Um, fish eye soup, no. I've heard the song, fish heads, fish heads. 
Roly poly fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up. Yum, blue crab. I have never had blue crab yet. I've been here two and a half years and never had blue crab yet. To me, the there's only one type of crab and that is Dungeness crab. And um, Jill, you can testify. Isn't Dungeness crab the best? Tell everybody the truth. Dungeness crab is the absolute best crab ever. Don't have a phone thingy in your car. I may toss you my in, <laughs> in your passenger seat. Okay, just buckle me in, okay? I don't want to fall out, especially if you're a crazy driver. Oh, yeah, I'm with you, Jill. Blue cheese, is, I don't understand people who like blue cheese or cilantro. Cilantro is another mystery to me. I, I don't get it. They both taste so bad that I'm going, now this can't just be a, a a thing that some people like and some people don't like and some people kind of tolerate. I mean, to me, blue cheese and cilantro are two things that if, if you like, you're just wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, I love patty melts, Albert. AM, PM, double stuffed crust pizza. Did I try that, eh, Grammy Girl? I don't remember. I tried something, some kind of pizza from AMPM, and it wasn't good. Well, Arby's app won't work on anything I own. Really? Oh, that sucks. I wonder if you can do it through the website. Try ordering it through the website. See if that works. Yeah, I love patty melts. Absolutely. I love anything with onions. Get the brisket one. I've had the brisket one. I think I did a review on the brisket. In fact, Albert, go ahead and check the uh, Arby's playlist. I think I did the brisket one. Oh, you got a brisket sandwich. Nice. Yeah, those are like, aren't they like eight bucks something? Got a new phone on RV app, still no go. Really? Yeah, uh, try it on the website. Just go ahead and sign in or sign up if you haven't on the website and try ordering it through there. I bet you you can get it through deals and offers there. Okay, so Psycho likes the butter better. And Eric says no to the um, mayo. Cilantro is okay if you use sparingly. I, I think I've had a couple things with cilantro, and it's got to be chopped up really, really fine and used sparingly. And it's tolerable. But, I mean, big chunks of it and stuff, ugh, just nasty. It's like somebody picked it out of the garden, uh, something out of the garden, and didn't wash it. Japanese mayo. Are we talking... Um, um what what's the name of that anything that burns my nose i don't like stuff that burns my tongue but i like stuff that burns my nose so we're talking horseradish we're talking um um god what's what's that called um the the uh japanese mustard or the chinese mustard Love that. Make grilled cheese and leftover bacon. Oh, that sounds like that'd be good. My great grandma thought of the patty melt first back in the 60s and 70s. Anything grandmas make is wonderful. It's just a given. Yeah, Arby's, here, I'll, I'll tell you what, Jill. Let me go ahead and go over to Arby's. I'll bring you over in a second here. Okay. Go ahead and sign in. Um, okay. Let me 
try this. As long as I didn't. Okay, it looks like it's working. Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and bring you over real quick. Okay, desktop. There we go. So let's see. Go to deals. Um, okay, it should be in the deals section. Okay, hold on. This is supposed to be the fourth week. Let me go to the app. I'm going to the app here real quick. Okay, see, it's got it in the app. It says free sandwich month, online rewards exclusive. Welcome to week three. Week three, I thought they were on week four. Are they still on three? Arby's reward members get one free sandwich with purchase every week in April and redeem now. It's like right there. So why isn't it on the website? Come on, guys. Put it up on the website for people. Yeah, the only deals is $5 off 20 and $1 any size prize. Well, that kind of sucks that they don't do it on the website. There's those Bacon Ranch loaded fries. Let me see the sandwiches. Let me see what the brisket is here. Yeah, the brisket is eight nineteen here. This is what I usually get is the classic French dip and Swiss, which is really good. And I got the corned beef Reuben uh, my second week. Yeah, second week. I mean, it should be four because I, I've already gotten a free French dip and then I got a free Reuben and then I got a free French dip. So I wonder why it's still saying three. That's odd. The, the, the Euro is good too. I like that. But yeah, who the crap's going to eat that? Holy crap, look at that. Half pound beef and cheddar. Oh my gosh. Their roast beef has gone downhill. It tastes weird to me anymore. But I mean, the the but it doesn't in the classic French dip. I wonder if I just had some bad stuff. Maybe I just had some bad stuff. I don't know. So it looks like you can't get it through the website. That really sucks. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Hold on. Um, trying to catch up on the chat here. Uh, Oh, yeah, I remember when we used to use um, pins for diapers. Yeah, we used to do that with Isaac. Yeah, I mean, as long as you do it right, it's not a problem. 20 ounce soda pop in the mall in Salem is two fifty. See, that's not too horrible. Uh, considering like IHOP, I wanted to try their maple Pepsi, their new maple Pepsi. They want $4.99 for a 30 ounce. I'm going, no way I'm paying five bucks. I will not give you five bucks for a 30 ounce Pepsi. I don't care what flavor it is. Chipotle. I haven't had Chipotle in a long time. I don't remember. I think I, I think I liked it. At least at that point. Todd never tried his grilled cheese with mayo. Give it a shot. See what you think. Report back. Okay, Singe can't stand cilantro either, so I'm not alone. Goose livers. I've never had goose livers. I have had chicken livers. When, when KFC used to have gizzards and chicken livers way back in the day, I, I no, I don't remember liking the lizard, uh, the, the, li <laughs> the lizards. <laughs> I don't remember liking the livers because of the texture, but I like the gizzards. 
Wasabi. That's what I was thinking, Jill. Wasabi. I like wasabi, too, because it burns the nose. And I like that. That's why I like Arby's sauce. When I go to Arby's, I get Arby's sauce. No, no not Arby's sauce. The um, horsey sauce. Horsey sauce is the, the stuff that's like horseradish. Joni, you've never had horseradish? Really? Oh, it's really good if you like this stuff that burns your nose. Horseradish is really yummy. And horseradish sauce, too. If you guys like horsey sauce from Arby's, you can get the equivalent that tastes exactly the same, half the price of the bottled stuff, at Walmart. Walmart, great value brand, half the price of a bottle of horsey sauce. And it's, it tastes exactly the same. Ooh, liver and onions. Now that's nasty. Mustard seed. I thought that was just a seasoning. I didn't think that was anything you ate by yourself. Blue cheese. You should talk about Willis. Yeah, talking about blue cheese, Arnold. It's disgusting. Never got to try hers because. Huh? Oh, is it, are, are you and Psycho talking? I must have missed something, Todd. I have never had deep fried butter, Albert, but I've heard about it. That sounds really strange. Is it as strange as it sounds? Wow, the chat's going fast. Um, I don't know if the meat mountain is a thing still. You may be able to ask for it. I don't think it's ever been a menu item. I think it's just something that you can ask for. Give it a shot. Yeah, I, I mean, if you've got the app, Albert, and it works, I don't know if you're the one who said it doesn't work on yours, but, but try the meat mountain. Ask for the meat mountain. See if you can get it for free. Prices are cheap. I went to Arby's for a classic roast beef and cheddar, and it was $9 just for the... Oh, that's crazy. Yes, au jus and French dips are absolutely wonderful. Friend gets two of the half-pound ones for a meal. Wow! And he can eat both of them? That's crazy talk. Wow. Have I ever gotten sick from eating fast food? I did eat a breakfast burrito, a huge breakfast burrito that, from Jack in the Box. And it didn't make me sick, but it had so much sodium. I felt dizzy after I ate it. I felt like I was going to pass out. But I've never gotten sick from eating fast food. I've had some gross things. But never gotten sick. Dipping, <laughs> dipping a French man? That's interesting. Soda pop here in San Oregon costs about two fifty. Two fifty for what size, Shall? We used to go to Arby's. My husband's goes to Sam at half pound beef and cheddar. Wow. Brisket is eleven ninety nine where you are, Albert. That's crazy. Maple Pepsi made with gold? With uh, with gold. Yeah, for that price, it better be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deep fried lizards. No, I like my little geckos. That's one thing I love about Florida, is I love the little geckos that run around. They're so cute. Cracklins. Is that a um, Captain D's thing? Is that what you're talking about? If that's what you're talking about, add that. Want Chipotle, but had two teeth pulled in a bone. Oh, I'm sorry, Jill. That sucks. Been told it's too soon. So what are you eating right now? Are you able to eat solid food? Kimosabi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Lord Ranger. Red Ranch sauce. It, it, cinch, isn't that just the Arby sauce? Or is that something different? 
What do you even eat horseradish with? It's it's like a condiment. Yeah, I put it on sandwiches, um, and I I use the uh, the horseradish sauce. It's just like you'd use ketchup or anything else. I I uh, make up um, air fried chicken nuggets inside uh, my air fryer, and I use the uh, horseradish sauce for dipping. I, I dip fries in it too. That's good. But yeah, you can spread it on sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. I, on a French dip, you put horsey sauce, the, the horseradish sauce on your French dip. Man, that takes it up another level. A gold dust flavored sauce? I don't know. I don't know what that would be, Albert. Lee's famous recipe chicken had the best chicken gizzards. I've never heard of that, Miss Mandy. Is that like a local place? I've never had a peanut butter banana sandwich psycho like Elvis. Never had that. It sounds like it'd be a good combination, though. Your great grandma's patty melt. Well, hopefully she left you the recipe. Because grannies make good food. I didn't think the Meat Mountain was ever on the app, Miss Mandy. I thought that was kind of like a, a secret menu item that people just kind of caught wind about. Kind of like the 1035 burger at McDonald's. Same issue after too much sodium. Yeah, I, have, I never have had that before. And I've eaten a lot of stuff with high sodium. But this was so much, I felt dizzy. If you look at my playlist, my, my Jack in the Box playlist, it's like a breakfast burrito. So just search breakfast burrito. And, and it was from, from, um, from um, Jack in the Box. And it was just over the top sodium. I remember when it was five for five for the roast beef. Yeah, that was a good deal. Dollar a piece. Good deal. Oh, so Cracklins is another name for pork rinds. Oh, yeah, I've had pork rinds. Not really a fan, but they're not bad. I can eat soft diet. My, my mouth is still very sore. Soft diet. The fact that you know that term, are you in the health food or I mean the the like do you work for a hospital or a dietitian or a dietary anything like that? Are you a nurse? Cuz the fact that you know that term makes me think of that you are. 5 for 5 and now I see 2 for 7. Yeah, everything's gone. Sucks. Mac and cheese. Oh, that sounds like it'd be a good combination. Are you talking a combination, Jill? Mac and cheese and scrambled eggs? Oh, it's two for nine where you are, Albert. Wow. It's an Ohio thing. Chick-fil-A sauce? I can't even make that little sound that she makes. Yeah, when I went to when I went to Chick Fil A, it's I I I had their grilled chicken nuggets, which were good. But I mean, I think the Chick Fil A is just overblown. I think that people make too much out of it. It's just hype. I don't understand people paying that much for the stuff that they put out. I don't get it. No, I've never had mac and cheese with eggs in it, but it sounds like it'd be good. Had a Baconator with four patties? Oh my gosh, that's overkill. Wow. Oh, so you learned that term from Google. Okay, gotcha. So, so afterwards, what you did was Google soft diet so you could learn what kind of stuff that you could eat. Gotcha. Yeah, that's kind of like a dietary term. Uh, with hospitals and stuff, because they have patients who have soft diet stuff. 
So that's how I knew that because I used to work at Meridian Park Hospital. That was like one of my first jobs back in high school um, was at Meridian Park in Tualatin, Oregon. Hot sauce on a grilled cheese. That sounds like it'd be good, Shal. Crystal is the best. Frank's and Crystal is the two best hot sauces. The Jack in the Box chicken tater melt. I remember that. Yes. Yes, that was when they, they crashed their car through the freaking restaurant. I remember that vividly. I didn't remember it was that review, but I remember that. Yeah, the cantina stuff is fairly good that I've had. $9.99, that's insane. The T-Rex burger, what is on that, Miss Mandy? I've never heard of that. Rapid City is supposed to be getting a Chick-fil-A this year. Not sure if it's completed yet. So have you ever had Chick-fil-A, Todd? To me, it's just, it's just fluff. It's just overpriced fast food that people talk about how wonderful it is. I think it's just marketing that has put it through the roof. Do I miss anything? Yes, I miss Dungeness Crab. And I, I do miss the Oregon coast, too. The Oregon coast is wonderful. I used to visit Lincoln City, Depot Bay, and Newport specifically. Um, but yeah, I miss the Oregon coast, and I miss Dungeness Crab. That's it. Nine patties and cheese. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. The T-Rex burger is eight patties with a slice of American cheese between. Oh, that's insane. Wow. So that's got to be like a secret menu item, right? Wow. Let's see what our poll's doing. And then we've got to do the Wheel of Fun. Um, let me see. Um, so how do I end this? Okay, so let's see what the what the consensus was in the poll. And okay, so what's it say? trying to go down on this for some reason it's not okay for some reason the chat's not working on this side anymore I'm not sure why oh, oh there it is okay gotcha wait did Chevy just do another one another Kofi Chevy why aren't you talking it says Chevy just did one, but it didn't go off. Oh, this is making me cranky. Why didn't it go off? That's okay. I'm cranky now. Well, Chevy, uh, if you did do another one and it didn't go off, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. And why aren't you talking? Are you driving? Okay, so what? Okay, so 42% never tried it, but 35% said no. So you like the butter better. Okay. I don't know why the sound isn't going off. I mean, it did earlier. Why didn't it go off again? I don't know. Like I said, Kofi needs to make some new events, some better ones. No Shane O'Mac, I know. Yeah, maybe he's mobile. Uh, maybe he's driving. Okay, so anyway. Um, need Shane O'Mac. Yeah, I know. I should just have that as a, a sound. I think I will. I think I'll put that as a sound just in case nobody's thing goes off. Just so we can have a, a Mickey Mouse event. Well, I, what I did for DDP in place of uh, DDP on the... Um, on the um whatchamacallits like i said my brain's not working tonight i'm just forgetting stuff on the um super chats i i replaced him with john cena so i mean if you do a super chat cena will come up that's for sure he should he better shannon matt got beat by kane in an ambulance match once I'm pretty sure I saw that. So my favorite is still Shane versus um, uh, Kurt Angle. 
That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Dusty Rhodes is awesome. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring up the Wheel of Fun. There's the Wheel of Fun. Here we go. Wheel of Fun! Okay, so let's see who we're going to get tonight. Spin it! And the wiener is uh, Mr. Rogers. All right, Mr. Rogers. We can do that. Go over to the sounds here. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead and turn that off first. There we go. Get that out of the way. And we'll do Mr. Rogers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know that I'll be back when the day is new. And I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will, too. All right. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred. I always appreciate you stopping by the stream. Uh, let's do the fart lady once again, too. Get in our licks however we can here. Okay. Take it away, Fartley. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Toothless Fartley, very much. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> uh, you have a very important meeting with McDonald's, Joni? Well, <laughs> have fun. Get, get a deal. Get a deal. McDonald's is expensive. Yeah, Mr. Rogers, he was, he was, he was tops. I'm not wearing my shirt today, but I have my Mr. Rogers Neighborhood shirt in the closet. I do have TikTok. Old Nerd Reviews on TikTok, Jill. Um, I don't know if he's still on TV. I think he is on live stream um on some streaming service that's free i believe and i can't remember which one i've seen him on i mean i know bob ross is on 24 7 rotation on pluto i believe and a couple others but i can't remember where i saw mr rogers on but he had his own streaming channel <laughs> burn a hole through her britches Oh, I love TikTok. Oh my gosh, I love TikTok. And like I said last week, TikTok is the same as anything else. You're going to get the algorithm feeding you stuff that you watch. So if you watch crap, you're going to get crap. But if you follow and like and comment on um, and watch certain things that you enjoy, it's just like any other platform's algorithm. It'll start serving you up that stuff. So you'll get good stuff. I watch stuff that I learn from, that I watch animal stuff. Um, I watch stuff that teaches me how to do certain things, um, that um, uh, coupon stuff from Publix and, and when, fast food stuff that not only are reviews, but tells me what's coming up. Um, I love TikTok. It's wonderful. It's my, it's probably my favorite platform, even more than YouTube. Yeah, Mr. Rogers was on PBS, absolutely. Yep, he was. Sesame Street on PBS. Sesame Street and, and Electric Company. I watched Zoom too, but I liked Electric Company. All right, gang. Well, I'm going to leave you with the end screen. Thank you very much for showing up. Thank you for everybody who donated and just for 
showing up and chatting and drinking coffee and having a good time. In fact, I need to take another drink. So, get No Man's Sky on the summer sale. Get Deep Rock Galactic and Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Awesome games. And Deep Rock Galactic Survivor is still in uh, uh, early access. And it's only 10 bucks. And, and it's awesome. It's so awesome. We, I, we need to play some on stream. I'll probably play some on Twitch. And I plan on making a new video to show you how to use some of, oh, one of my favorite classes, the best build for my favorite classes on Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. So if you're not subscribed um, over on Old Nerd Reviews 2, that's Old Nerd Reviews T-O-O, -O, go over there. That's where I do the majority of my gaming stuff if I'm not doing it on Twitch. I don't know if it was free on Epic Cycle. I've never seen it free on Epic. I've seen Bioshock, the Bioshocks, free on Epic. I've seen the Tomb Raiders free on Epic. I got Prey free on Epic, even though I got it on Steam when it first came out. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen No Man's Sky. That'd be an awesome game. But I don't think they're putting out really A-list games on, on Epic anymore the way they used to, unfortunately. But yeah, get it if uh, if it's on sale on, on the summer sale. And get Deep Rock Galactic stuff. I guess they're coming out with a new one, Deep Rock Galactic Rogue. I don't know much about it. They have a, a board game too, but it's like, it's not sold anywhere. It was like a, a, a um, whatchamacallit, a Kickstarter thing. And it was really expensive. It was like $89, but it came with like um, the, the, um, pewter uh figures and stuff like that so it was like that but i'm hoping the portal which is a board game place where you can pay five dollars and you can just play board games all day long all kinds of hundreds and hundreds of board games that they have i'm hoping that they'll get get the deep rock galactic i i really should contact them and and recommend it i think that'd be fun Shall you still watch Sesame Street? Old Sesame Street is great. Absolutely. You've got No Man's Sky on your PlayStation. That'd be cool. YouTube has games you can play for free. Is that like a YouTube, their, their paid service stuff? I don't know much about that. I don't know anything about that, actually. I'll have to look into it. All right. Well, anyway, love you guys so much. And I had some pop, Funko Pop set aside to show you and totally zoned it. <laughs> well, we'll do it next time. So anyway, uh, once again, no live stream on Friday, but here on Saturday for three more weeks. I think my concerts on Friday go for three more weeks. And then we'll be back to Friday. So anyway, just turn your notifications on so you know. Um, and, and we'll do, you know, we'll do either Twitch or Old Nerd Reviews 2, uh, live stream sometime this week and we'll play some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. I'll we'll show you all about it. Plays in the browser and the app. Really? Interesting. Jail? I'm not going jail. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm going to check out. You guys have a freaking awesome weekend. I'll see you with a new review on a Monday. And um, anything else? I think that's it. All right. You guys take care. I'll see you later. Bye.